Welcome to my life of baking. Today, my grandson is here and he's going to help me make some soft pretzels. I am so excited that Corbin's here to help me. The first thing we're going to do, we've got to get the warm water into the bowl before it gets cold. And we're going to pour that in there. And that is a cup and a quarter of warm water. And to that, we're going to add a quarter cup of brown sugar. And we're going to add a tablespoon of yeast. And this is a yeast that will raise a little bit faster. And we're going to let that get in there and we're gonna let that dissolve that brown sugar and that yeast. Just get it all mixed together good. Just takes a minute. And to that, we're going to add three and a half cups of flour. And I'm not gonna add quite all of it right away because I wanna see what the texture of the dough is once I get it in there. So we're gonna put probably all but just a little bit. So I've saved out about a half a cup and I'm gonna let this mix very slowly. You wanna be able to handle your dough, but you don't want it so, so thick that it won't form a pretzel nice. I am going to add just a little bit more flour and then let this run just a little bit longer. Why does that make sure it's like Well, I think the latch doesn't always latch the way it's supposed to on this mixer. It's probably something I should get fixed. Okay. I'm going to grab a heavy duty rubber spatula and we're going to get everything into the bowl. And it looks like it's pretty good. A little bit sticky, but not too bad. I'll show you what it looks like. And we're going to let that sit in the bowl for a little bit and see if it won't rise for us. Just let the dough sit for about 20 minutes and it has already more than doubled in size and we are ready to roll out our pretzels. So what we're gonna do is put, take a little bit of flour so it won't be sticky. We're just gonna sprinkle a little in there so as we pull it out we can kind of work that in. Add the rest of that flour in there. And I'm going to scoop that all out of this bowl. There we go. And just give it a couple quick little turns in that flour because we want to be able to handle it. It's really a nice soft dough. There we go. Look how pretty that looks. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take off little one inch balls about the size of a golf ball. Oh, still a little bit sticky so we can roll that in a little flour. And then we're going to roll a rope out of it. It's kind of like playing with Play-Doh. We get to make things. Okay. So if we get it Oh, about that long there. Have a nice rope. See that? And then we're going to lay it down. My grandson might have to show me how to do this. <laughs> and we're going to twist it a couple times. And we're going to put it, pinch it right back down. So we've got ourselves a little pretzel. So if you want to grab a piece right there. We might need a little more flour out of the flour can down there. Maybe a little bit bigger than that. 
Okay. There you go. I'm gonna pass the flour down this way. Uh huh. We're gonna actually add a little bit more flour. It's still a little bit sticky on the inside. You don't want to add too much. Just enough so you can handle it without it sticking too badly. So then we're gonna roll out our long rope. Need a little more flour on there. Keep sticking to my counter. <laughs> it's kind of a fun thing to do. There we go. And again, I'm gonna twist it twice and I'm gonna flip it back down and make a pretzel. Boy, that's gonna be a fat little pretzel. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna, we'll just keep building some pretzels here and then we'll go to the next step. Now that we've got all our pretzels made, we've got them all rolled out. We even made some little pretzel bites. I'm gonna put some boiling hot water in this pitcher and we need a cup and a quarter of boiling hot water. There we go. And shut that burner off. And then we're going to add a quarter cup of baking soda. Whoa, look at that fizz. And what we're gonna do is dip these pretzels into this. And this is instead of boiling the pretzels, we're just gonna dip it in the hot water that, and the soda. And we're gonna do that real quick. Flip them over and we're going to set them right over here on the baking sheet. And dip another one here. Try not to lose the shape of the pretzel when we get it over to the baking sheet. You want to try this, Corbin? Uh, yeah. All right, move this over here so Corbin can try. And flip it over once in there. And again, there you go. Okay, <laughs> okay. just <laughs> here, I'll help you. We'll get it on there and put our little piece back on there. It'll bake together. Okay, let's finish up this. Get them all dipped. And they're going on a, on a greased cookie sheet. You wanna make sure and grease your cookie sheet so they don't stick. Because once we get these all done, they're gonna go in an oven that's 500 degrees. And they only have to bake for six minutes. All right, we're almost done. Just got a couple left to dip. Get off as much water as we can. This is a fat little one. That looks so good. What's your favorite one, Corbin? Um, probably that one right there, simply because it's the biggest one. <laughs> Are you going to claim that one when they come out of the oven? Probably. Oh, that one right there. <laughs> All right. We're almost done here. 
Get our little pretzel bites on the cookie sheet. Should have had you dip these. <laughs> and the last one. Don't those look good? All right. So there we have our pretzels before they bake and we'll see what they look like when they come out of the oven in six minutes. Set the timer and it won't be long, we'll have pretzels to dip. Look how beautiful those pretzels are. They look kind of like pretzel buns almost. You can barely even see the twist. <laughs> yeah, I think they got a little big, but I bet they taste good. Yeah. So we're going to dip them in some butter and then you can bring down the salt. We have salt and we have some cinnamon sugar. And we want to dip the face of that down in the butter. Then just dip in the salt, right? Mm -hmm. Do you want to take a spoon out? Please. It's hot. <laughs> and look at that beautiful pretzel. You can always brush the salt off if you don't want it, hon. Look how pretty. And look at a couple more. We need some more butter. Well, yeah. we should get the salt. We've got a lot of sugar ones. Make a couple salt ones. And then we have these little tiny bites. We'll just make sure they get all covered up. And I'm rolling the bites around so it even gets sugar on the back or salt, whichever we do. All right. Are you putting salt on now? Huh. I have a lot of sugar on my fingers. <laughs> A lot of sugar. And little bites. Make a salty sweet. That would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. We should try that. I'm going to try that. <laughs> Wait, should I? Go ahead. That's the last one. You can do whatever you want with it. I'm do like half salt and half cinnamon sugar. And then we have a salty sweet. So are you going to try one? Uh, Yeah, sure. Take your pick. Of course, he goes for the big one. <laughs> Is it hot? Very good, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sure glad you guys could join me for making pretzels. It's been fun. It's quite an experience to do this. Thank you for joining us today on my life of baking. I really enjoyed the project we did today and I can't wait to do another and I'm not quite sure what it'll be but it'll be great thank you